Hi guys, welcome back to another World of Tanks pseudo quick video tutorial guide and today I'm going to be covering the bane of every tank player's life for both the player and the actual enemy which is basically all players and that's artillery. Let me get this disclaimer out first. Yes, I have a tier 9, I have a tier 8, I have a tier 6, I have a tier 5's uh, uh, artillery. I am not a dedicated artillery player. I like playing artillery when I want to have a chill stream or a chill moment or any of those sort of things. Now, the first thing I want to get this across is, again, this is just a rebuttal to some of the World of Tanks videos that I've seen on YouTube of late where they talk about um, artillery, artillery skills, what's the best ones to have, what's the best ones to not have, etc, etc. And... Again, I'm not calling anyone out in particular. This is this isn't aimed at anyone, at any other content creator. This is just my way of saying how absolutely fundamentally wrong you all are. Um, and I'm going to start off by saying we're gonna we're, we're not going to look at the tanks in, in particular. So we're not going to look at the at, at Bert the Avenger. We're not going to look at the Grilly. We're not going to look at the GW Tiger. We're going to take a look at the crew. Okay, we're going to take a look at the crew. Now, what this means is, most artillery will have either two loaders, or two gunners, or two of the same thing that's not ever needed. Case in point, Grilly only needs one of everything. But Avenger, two loaders. Okay? So, first things first, yes, the quicker you get the shell in the breach, the quicker you can fire. However, you can go... There's two ways you can fundamentally look at artillery. You can look at it as... Accurate slow fire, i.e. sniper shots, or you can look at it as throw enough shit at the fan and hopefully it will stick, okay? And with the constant nerfs that's been hitting artillery players because, well, let's just say, light tanks, medium tank players, basically every other tank class but artillery are playing like idiots, okay? So Wargaming's way was to nerf an actual tank line that was effective and was doing its job. That literally makes no sense, Wargaming. It literally makes no sense. You've already modified most of the maps so that there's more rocks and outcrops and bushes. Like, literally, absolute Sahara Desert. One bush in the middle of nowhere, you get lit. Guess where that light tank's going to be? <clears throat> let's see. Uh, let's, in, let, let's, add, let's add the little countdown clock. Is in the freaking bush. Okay, it's not. It's common sense. Anyway, when it comes to artillery, war gaming says, "Well, let's lower their rate of fire. Let's make their accuracy a lot worse. Let's make their reload time a lot worse." And now you wonder why a lot of people don't play artillery anymore. It's because you've nerfed them too much. Okay. And yet you want to add a crap ton of auto loaders in every aspect of the game. Light tanks, mediums, heavies, tank destroyers. And you wonder why your games are over in less than three minutes? Well, let's see. Artillery have maybe fired once or twice at tier 10, tier 9, hell, heck even tier 8. They've probably fired maybe once in those three minutes. So you tell me, why, when can one shell... In the space of a three minute game, change that. It can't, can it, Wargaming? So, that stupidity rant aside, let's get back to what the video is. Hey, plain and simple. Um, let's take a look at your gunner. Okay, this is going to be the sniper, and let's take a look at your loader. This is going to be the people who throw the shell in the breach. Okay, these are my two loaders on my tier, tier nine. So, I clearly know what I'm doing if I'm at tier 9 artillery. Okay? So yes, Brother in Arms gives a passive increase to all skills. Okay? Loading, firing, aiming, you name it. Great. Now, I've gone with intuition. Not that it bloody helps because, well, all I ever load is one series of ammunition. But at higher tiers, at tier 10, I will be incorporating some AP shells eventually for that one annoying Kramwagen. Um, and we all know those sort of players. Um, those are the sort of players that scour 
other YouTube content creators and think that, oh, 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 if, if I take this and, and then I take that and then I take this, I'll just stay on this ridge line. While your rest of your heavy tanks are complaining that they can't penetrate their shell. Well, guess what? That's what that... Anyway, you don't need intuition. You don't even need camo. I only have concealment on my tank uh, in general because, well, frankly, there's no skills for artillery. Let me make that again. Let me, let me say that again. Why is there a generic set of skills that apply to role-specific tanks? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Make it make sense, Wargaming. Why do skills that apply to a light tank have to be applied to artillery? Why are there skills that apply to a tank destroyer can also be applied to a medium tank? Why is there skills that can be applied to artillery that can also be applied to... It make it make fucking sense! You can't, can you? Because you finally understand the difference between a 30% player win rate and a 60 to 80% player win rate. It's the fucking cruise skills. Has fuck all to do with the person behind the mouse and keyboard. Okay? It's about the crew. And if you don't believe me, okay, if, if there's any naysayers watching this video right now, instead of giving this video a thumbs down, okay, take your high, highest skilled crew in your favorite tank Take them out of that tank and then buy a brand new 50% crew, which you can probably get for pennies, okay? And then play the game. And then you tell me if I'm lying or not. Seriously, put your money where your mouth is. It comes down to the crew. And then it also comes down to the vehicle's modules. I will explain that in the second part of the video. So, as you can see... This is my gunner. This is the most stupidest perk ever. It does not work with artillery. Read what it says. Increases the chance to cause damage to enemy vehicle modules and crew. It is effective with armor piercing, armor piercing uh, uh, com composite rigid, and high explosive anti-tank shells. Artillery fires HT! So this skill does fuck all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reset this guy. It's gonna cost me two hundred gold. Two hundred gold. I'm not gonna get back. But two hundred gold, right? So first skill we're gonna give him, of course, brother in arms. Okay. Now, if this skill is not gonna work, what are we gonna give him? We give him snapshot. Okay. Now what other skill? Nothing. Because the rest of the skills are all generic and or don't apply to an artillery piece. So I'll go with designated target. So that's, that is your gunner setup. Your gunner only ever needs two skills. Brother in arms and snapshot. That's it. And even then, guess what? Snapshot does not apply to certain artillery pieces that don't have a turret. Read what it says. Improves accuracy during turret rotation. Okay. Now, I hate to break it down to you, but let's take a look at, at the vehicle itself, shall we? So we're going to go to research. Where's the turret? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, there isn't one, is there? So Snapshot doesn't fucking work either. So Snapshot doesn't work for an artillery piece. Dead Eye doesn't work for an artillery piece. So the, in actuality, the only fucking skill currently in this iteration of World of Tanks that actually applies to artillery is just Brother in Arms. That's it. Now... Apart from the gunner's rant, okay, let's take a look at the load, we'll take a look 
at a commander. Okay, commander, yeah, give him six cents, that's fine. Give him mentor, that's fine. That means you get rest of your crew levels up quicker. Doesn't fucking do anything because once they reach that cap of 127, that's pretty much it. They're not going anywhere. So mentor doesn't do anything other than gives you a passive extra two points of EXP per game. That's it, pretty much. Other than that, it does fuck all. Okay, so brother in arms. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Let's let let's pick another skill. That, what what what? Enables the commander to identify critically damaged modules on a target or vehicle. That wouldn't be a bad idea, but only comes in after a hundred percent. So once my camera reaches hundred percent, I'll probably swap it out for eagle eye. Again, another two hundred gold down the fucking pisser. Jack of all trades doesn't do anything. Sound detection. Indicates an enemy SPG shot. Okay, it doesn't fucking matter. Okay, recon. This is the most useless skill in, that, they, that they brought into the game. This proves that they can add new skills into the game, but it also proves that they are fucking stupid when it comes to putting new skills into the fucking game. And how many fucking closed alpha, closed beta, and, 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 and tests have they done on the test server with the new skill system? It turned out to be a monumental failure. Hmm? Exactly. So you've not only proven that you don't know what the fuck you're doing, you're continually to show the world that you haven't got a fucking clue about tanks and you're a game about fucking tanks. You can hire all the ex-tank veterans you want from every country that you want and have them explain this, that, 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 that about a tank. But you being the coder, creator, and the ability to digitally take what you're being told and implement it into a fucking game is sorely lacking. Isn't it? Ask yourself this, Wargaming. You've been around for 10 plus years. War Thunder's been around for less than that. And they're beating you at your own game. Why? Because you do not listen to your player base. You only listen to maybe 1%. And that 1% happen to be the ones that you shove gold down their throats. And say, say good things about our game. Say nice things about our game. Say nice things about our game. Say nice things about our game. Sign this NDA to say that you can't say that you signed an NDA. Exactly. Typical games workshop tactic. But point is, useless skill. Useless skill. Um, pretty much they're all useless skills. Commander doesn't get any good skills, okay? Uh, driver, what's the fucking point? All he's going to drive is maybe about five feet. Now, I, knowing that I don't have a turret, went with clutch braking, and guess what? It fucking works. Why? Because I'm having to rotate the entire tank. Because the gun is in a fixed position. So if you actually want to get your shots to snap on target, take clutch braking. What other skills can the driver take to help? None. Controlled impact, you're not going to be ramming anything unless you're Bert the Avenger. Off-road driving, you're not going to be going off-road. And even if you are, it's usually at the start of the game, so you're not really in a hurry to get there. Um, so yeah, preventative maintenance, doesn't fucking matter. You've got such low hit point pools, you catch fire. It's like you get one tick, boop, enemy, pff, done. You don't, you, 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 you get no way to react. None. Okay, so that's the driver sorted. Let's look at a radio operator. The most useless twat I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen a lot of useless twats. Trust me, six years in the British Army, you see a lot of fucking useless twats. Call for vengeance, useless, that's only if you die. Signal boosting, again, not really that good. Let's see, what's this one? I went relaying, extend the signal range of ally communications. That's great if you want to be a, a, an ally player. Situational awareness, again, extends my view range to what? Oh, 326. Tier 1 tanks have better view range than me, and I'm tier 9! Hello? Are you really fucking stupid? Seriously, Wargaming, you really need to be bent over someone's knee and have your ass smacked. Okay, so let's take a look at loaders. These, these are the only other things that's most important on, when it comes to crew. Again, brother in arms is what's needed. 
when they're in adrenaline rush. But again, this is a point of skill because you've got such low hit points. And the moment you take a whack, your speed increase for what, 10% means fuck all when your reload is 45 fucking seconds. My reload is longer than some tier 10 auto loader fucking heavy tanks. And they don't affect their reload by having a physical person put in the shell. Do they wargaming? No. Uh, I've got two burly Germans going, Oh, here, Hans. Thank you, Granz. Let's put it in the shell. Yeah, okay, Granz. Yeah, and it takes them 45 seconds to do that. Are you starting to see the major fucking earthly kind of fucked up? Anyway, so let's see. Safe storage, intuition. Can't have it the same. They, they doesn't stack with other. So, so again, four useless generic skills that aren't gonna do shit. So I don't care about my fucking crew leveling up anymore. I don't care. I don't care. They're fucking useless. I don't care. Thank you, War Gaming. Because pretty much, I don't care. So that's the crew side done. Now let's take a look at the actual tank. Here we're gonna take a look at a tier nine. GW Tiger. Ah, this Tiger went Tiger! Rawr. Okay, now. This improved rotation mechanism class 1 is a fucking joke. It shouldn't be on the tank because there's nothing there. Literally, you've only got three things to help with any kind of gun handling. Everything else is an actual joke. It literally does... No, well, I want a tur Do I want a turbocharger? Do I want to put a turbocharger on an artillery piece that has to stand still for, uh, let's see, three or four seconds to fire a shot? So that's useless. What about spotting mechanics? Um, again, pretty much fucking useless. So that's it. So the, the best equipment I've gone with is pretty much right here. Special and bounties. I've, I, 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 I own them. I've got tier nine, tier ten tanks. This is what I spend my stuff on. I spend it on, on. I spend my bounties on. There you go. To speed up the aim time. To speed up the loan time. Now I could get the bounty one when I get time, and then just literally keep upgrading it and upgrading it and upgrade. And I'm going to be doing that at tier ten. Why? To complete these bullshit campaign missions. And to prove it, let's take a look. Look at all those. Look at all those chickens! See? I'm literally down to just the last one. Does that tell you something, Wargaming? Does that feckin' tell you something? And in fact, I'm thinking about going back and retrieving the order and redoing this one. Okay, so I've got a stunning enemy tank for 50 seconds on... What was it? What was, what was this one again? Uh, stunning enemy assistance. Okay. So, now, let's hope that the matchmaker doesn't fist me. Okay, so, you know what I'm even going to throw up a, a couple of bonuses. And let's see, it's going to be credits, because I'm tier 10. Um, experience, what the hell not, because I'm going for, for, for that. And I'll go for free. Again, I don't care about the crew. The crew's at the point where the crew skills, my crew skills are at the point where I genuinely do not care. So, let's see what else have we got uh, for the clan wise. If your HUD could take. I swear, work on your HUD, it's taking too bloody long. Um, Alright, so we'll, we'll whack that one. Free, e, free EXP is always good. Right, so now we're going to go to battle. And then wait 50 years. See, it may take longer for SPGs to find a battle other than other vehicle types. Please be patient. You want to know why? Because you're just going to end up putting me on a map that is not artillery friendly. Because no artillery in the history of the world, no tank commander has ever rolled their fucking artillery pieces into a fucking city or a village or a town. They've left them out in the middle of fucking nowhere because they have range and decided to shell their opponents from said range. All right. 28 Minyana. So what I'm going to do 
is where am I gonna go? In fact, I'm actually in order for me to get shot center, I'm actually just gonna stay here. I legit, I'm just going to stay here and then move afterwards. I'm going to roll back. Vidya is 55. Carnarvon shit action 10. 703. Yeah, yeah. T95 is going city. Uh, Charlotte Fulda. 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 So I'm just letting them know that I'm pre aiming in this area. It would be. So now you can see my blast radius, which is an absolute fucking joke. Okay, so we're, we're, there's always a heavy tank that camps on this little corner here. Oh, oh there's a super conk. Yeah, super conk's going to do a little bit of a drive by. And I really can't hurt him. No shot on the super conk. What about the Waffen Tiger? Alright, so let's see. We're already closing in, closing in. It's going to be a two second flight time. 1 1000, 2 1000. Critical hit. Critical hit. Okay, so he's not liking life. There you go. Now I've got my T targets up on the side button on my mouse. And notice that my reload time is awfully bloody quick. You want to know why? Because I am not using the tier 9 gun, I'm using the tier 8 gun. Which has an awfully quick reload time. Of course he's not going to go nowhere now, so... That's that, and I can't hurt those guys, so... so I'm helping the STA. Oh, there's the Waffen Traeger. 3... 2... Get them, lads. There you go. Mission complete. Completed with honors. Alright, so we've got an object. What's the rear? 2.3. Of course, he's gone. Charla for 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 for. Sure would be nice. Okay, he's dead. G. Yeah, Scorp G is not going nowhere. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Ooh. Three, two. I don't care. I love it. He's dead. Oh my god. He's so dead. Roll back. Roll back, T34. Roll back. Roll back a little bit. No? Alright, fine. Stick swans. T. Run. I really wish my team would work on their view range skills. I'm not going to fire until I can see, so I'm going to hold. Okay. This object's right here. Nicely done. Oh, 
check. That one landed underneath the object and only did 25 points of damage in an unarmored part of the tank. Okay. Fine by me. I don't care. I love it. So yeah, I really don't know how to play artillery, do I, guys? I really don't know what I'm doing, do I, do I guys? No, he's buying those bushes. Of course, Charlefort is behind the bushes. Ah, oh, moi, moi. You will play. Not too shabby. Didn't get any kills, but. Let's see, we did 2,700 combined. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, do I, guys? I don't know how to set up artillery, do I, guys? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, do I, guys? There we go, and that's... New add-on for the object 4, 420, style upgrade, yep, cool. Rewards, 100k, cool. So yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, do I? Nice. Let me go back to the campaign, sorry, not the missions. Stug. I believe that was it. Number 11. Stun two enemy vehicles with a single shot twice. Okay. That I can do. And what's this one? B top three right. Enable 1500 points. That I can do. Uh, I'm doing it so I can get my bonds back. <clears throat> so that I can actually unlock the um, T55A. <clears throat> So yeah, that'll be fun. Where should I spend my bonds? In the light tanks? Oh, I can redo that too. But anyway, guys. it's uh, Artillery it isn't easy and it's not hard. You've got to put a lot of time, energy and effort into it. Okay? I mean, seriously, if you take a look at all my other tanks, artillery pieces. These these guys, I'm just farting around because I again, I'm I'm not a fan of American artillery. But take a look, see. All got the core same same basic set of uh, of skills, with the exception of the Soviet. Again, this is when I first started playing artillery, so I really didn't care. Okay, I will drop the six cents, and um, probably swap it out for something else. But, that's my whole point, guys. Look at the tank. If the tank doesn't have a turret, then snapshot's not going to work for you, okay? You're going to need things like, uh, um, like, this wouldn't work. Things like clutch braking would work. There needs to be more um, equipment for mobility, I'm sorry, but there does. There needs to be more equipment than just these. Okay? There needs to be more. Okay? And when they added in the um, this, I thought, oh, great. It's going to be where I can get to tweak it a little bit more. No. No. Just no. So... Again, let me explain. Let's take a look at the guns real quick so you can understand why I've gone with the 17 over the 21. Okay, look at the 21. Look at its stats. 900 alpha, work of fiction. 1200, work of fiction. 640, work of fiction. Penetration doesn't mean shit. 
Um, gun loading time drastically does. 31 seconds versus 42, which changes everything. Rate of fire, average damage per minute goes down, minimum stun radius. Look at the dispersion at 100 meters. 65 to 77. Look at the aim time, 4.8 to 5.2. Just because the gun hit, gun says it's a tier 9 or a tier 10 or whatever, doesn't make it better. Sometimes they put them in there just as grinders to just slow you down. And they don't put any kind of thought or effort or anything actually into that upgrade. Wargaming does not care. Alright, so, enjoy the rant, and um, now you know how you can be a better artillery player, okay? Set the crew up correctly, set the, the it, now if it's a, if it's a, now, now don't get me wrong, addendum, let me add an addendum here, okay? GW Panther, okay, has a turret, okay? My crew that's in this tiger originally came from my panther okay panther has a rotating turret okay see it has a rotating gun platform the turret rotates okay so that's different you got to understand if it's a fixed turret like the majority of artillery and world of tanks then you're screwed. If it is a rotating turret, then and there are some artillery pieces that do have rotating turrets, like the GW Panther. Um, I think there's a couple. There's what? There's a French one as well. Um, give me a second. Um, French, 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 French. Dude. Um, I think it's the Bichelion. Yeah, it's the Bichelion 55. Has a turret. So. Those equipment that I told you not to get, if you look at modules, yeah, see, turret. It has a turret. It has a dedicated turret. It's right there. So the uh, traverse mechanism and snapshot will work with this, but it will not work with, with other tanks. You've got, to, you've got to understand, okay, just because the, the, all the crew skills are generic, what you can make up for in the fact that all crew skills are generic is you can make up for it in how you operate the tank, right? And uh, until then, guys, keep your shells flying, keep your enemies dying, your Cobra Commander is out, and I'll see you sexy bitches in the next one. Ciao.